So hello and welcome friends to our channel Intromac and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts. So today we are going to discuss about how we can select a pneumatic gripper. Now you could see the application of pick and place whenever you want to pick one part from one place and you want to put it to another place, you can need a pneumatic gripper. So while selecting a pneumatic gripper, you have to think about different system inputs, how you can calculate the design requirements. And finally, you have to select a product. So for explaining the application, I'm going with the SMC product, but it is not necessary to go with the same product. I am not promoting a particular product. You have to just understand the basics behind selecting the gripper. So that is my aim. So without wasting time, let's get started. So you have to log in into the SMC site uh, by putting your credentials. Once you log in into the site, you could see the products and go into the actuators and the gripper section. You can find out different kind of grippers. So we will going with the two finger gripper. In two finger gripper also, you can find different types according to the application. So we will see some basic calculations of the parallel grippers. In parallel grippers, you have different types. Again, you can read what are their specifications and how they can be used. We will go with the standard linear guide. Then again, we have compact series, then long stroke series and all other subtypes. We will go with the standard type. Once you enter into standard type, you can see the specifications. First, we will go to the catalog because here we will find out a lot of information. So while entering into the catalog, you can see the internal details and a lot of other things they have mentioned here. You can read out what the uh, what is the type, then what are the body options, fitting finger options you have. Um, so that will help you while choosing the part and they have mentioned the strokes here uh, what will be the stroke so this essentially indicates the distance that uh, while the gripper is closed or opened so there will be the movement of the gripper right so that's how they have mentioned the distance and other specifications they have mentioned with the series type like j type you can see uh, whether that is a double acting or single acting. So all these information you can see then the model selection steps they are mentioned that how we can select the model. So that is our part of interest and the graphs they have given for different kind of uh, series. So these graphs also play an important role. You can select the part from these graphs also very effectively. So these graphs are very effective and you can see the different series here and the graphs given here so let's explore this with the help of some practical example so here is our gripper you can see these are the fingers and i have to hold this red block and i have to transfer this block from a position to b position this is my requirement so first I will grip it, I will transfer it and then I will ungrip it. So that is my requirement. So what are my system inputs? Uh, let's see first what are the different uh, forces acting in this case. So you could see the weight of the part will be acting downwards. Then these are the fingers. If the part is trying uh, to move downward, the friction will be acting at the faces, right? So we have a mu times F force acting. The mu is the coefficient of friction between this part material and the gripper material. So we require this force to hold the part. If the force is, if this gripping force is less, your part will fall down. So that is a very important parameter here. And the gripping distance also plays an important role that at how much distance you are gripping your part. So that is also an important factor. So let's see what are our system uh, inputs. So here are our uh, system inputs. My mass of the body to be gripped is like 0.2 kg. This is uh, a 200 gram 
uh, part that I have to grip it. Then the coefficient of friction between fingers we are considering 0.1. Uh, we are considering a lesser amount of value uh, so that it will increase my factor of safety, right? Then we have number of fingers like we have two number of fingers, right? Then again, we have considering a safety margin of four and the gripping point distance that is the L we have 40 mm. So these are my system inputs. So we have sample calculations, right? You can see that this mu times force is acting uh, this, at this phase and this phase. So I have two phases. So that will be like N times mu into F. Now a logical thinking this total force should always be greater than my weight of the body, right? Otherwise it cannot hold the part. So this is how the basic uh, logic behind it. Now I have removed this with the help of a constant. I have imported a safety factor here. So this will becomes I have two number of grip, uh, gripping hands, right? Then mu and F into weight will be mg times A. So what will be my force mg times 4 divided by this now f is the actual gripping force required. So while we can put all these parameters, we have all those values. So finally what we get is the required force gripping force is 39.24 Newton. So whichever gripper you are selecting should have minimum this much amount of force. So that is my requirement. That is my system requirement. So let's see now how we can select the part. So you can see that these are the different graphs with the gripping point, the length of the gripper and the gripping force because the gripping force will not be constant. It will vary with the help of your gripping distance. And that's why the gripping distance plays an important role here. If you just observe this graph, you can see that as the gripping distance, gripping point in, uh, increases, the your gripping force reduces. So that is an important consideration here. So let's see what we have. So here you can see uh, with the help of our inputs, we have selected this part we have a gripping length of 40 and 0.4 bar. So this is giving a force of around 50 Newton. So that's how we have uh, selected this part. So we have considered, we have all the parameters here and we will select these parameters. So you can see for the 25D, this is the graph and for 40 distance at 0.4 bar, it is satisfying my condition. It is giving up a gripping force of 50 Newton, which is greater than 39 Newton. So this is how you can select easily from a graph. Then here you have completed our inputs and let's see how my part looks like. So it will take some time for the loading and here is my gripper. So you can see in the fingers, how they look and while selecting the creepers, you can little bit play with the shape and size of the creepers. That is all dependent on your application. So this is how you can select a pneumatic creeper with the help of your system requirements. I hope you this session is helpful and if you have any doubts, any suggestions, please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there. Until then, stay home, stay happy. Thank you.